What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi-level pivot report in ServiceNow. Uh, this is a somewhat underused report I feel and uh, and it's quite useful. I use it all the time and I think it is underused because uh, many times folks don't understand how easy it is to use and how do you go about using it. So when you think about a pivot report you are trying to pivot your data according to a parameter. So just think of it as reorganizing it, turning it, rotating it around uh, a parameter, anything. So here you see that I have uh, opened a story table and this has got all of my details of my user stories and I want to pivot it around the assignees. I want to see how many people worked on stories. So. Uh, and the reason I made this uh, video is I saw somebody just doing this group by and they said that okay so here from here you can see how many unique assignees there are which is true which is fine and which is good but then you cannot uh, go a level deeper and this is where pivot reports and specifically in service now multi-level pivot reports come in handy so let me show you how to create that and the question that we are trying to answer here in this specific example is I have the story table and I want to see how many unique assignees are there for these stories, what priority of stories they're working on, what teams they're working on, and uh, if possible, how big are the stories that these people are working on. So the pivot is the assignee and then we are trying to get some information about the assignee in the form of the multi-level pivot report. So let's see how to create that. We go here and uh, go to reports so here I will say create new and then I'll just select this which I was using as an example the table is our story table so rm underscore story I will select this and then what I need is a pivot so here you would see multi-level pivot and pivot table so always use multi-level pivot no reason to use a pivot table because multi-level pivot does everything that pivot does and then some more and I think this is also deprecated now so you select the multi-level pivot you go next and the row is normally in my experience the field that you are trying to pivot to so in our case the assignees assigned to and a little tip here is you know the column when you're first building this report just select a column which you know would give something very simple like one value and normally that one value is active is what I've seen so I will select this and uh, then just run it you know because aggregation is count so typically you would want this to be count if you are not dealing with the uh, sales data and so forth but uh, uh, normally you know you're trying to see what what a distinct count is perhaps or uh, other numbers so you see here that when I ran the report and you also saw how quick it was uh, is it shows me these are the assignees so this is you know this is just my uh, um, uh, employee account or my employee uh, uh, instance and so I have a lot of funny data here so the assignees are cat the cat dog the dog Emily etc and these are all the unique assignees in that have been assigned a story in the last uh, month or I have not put the filter here last month but that's what I'm trying to do so let's say the first thing you know I'm seeing there are some empty values and I just want to filter them out so I want to say that assigned to just show me data when assigned to is not empty and I'm just going to run that okay so that's much cleaner right so the next step is now you have pivoted on the assigned to what do you really want to see here now in my case I, I primarily wanted to see how many people are there how many unique assignees are there which I see here and now I'm interested in knowing, okay, so these people, which teams did they work on? So teams could, I can visualize that could come here as a column. And uh, really team, what this is, is in my instance, at least it is assignment group. And uh, I would imagine that for a lot of you as well, you know, team would be an assignment group. So let's say I select here and you just click on run. And there you go, you know, it shows you, these are the two teams that I have, Bonsai now and now Gambit. And it shows that the cat the cat worked on two stories for Bonsai now and 45 for now Gambit. So you pivoted on the really assigned to field 
and then you are getting information on uh, the teams assigned to here, uh, the assignment groups, I'm sorry, and then what whatever else you need. So the other thing, now I'm looking at this and I think what I'm interested in is is knowing how, what priority of stories that these uh, folks worked on. So you can just select a column called priority here and then see how that uh, shows up in your report. So I'll say priority, bring this up and then just hit run. This is all very quick. I mean, this is of course an employee instance, not much data. But even when I'm working, you know, with large amounts of data, I've typically not seen this report take a lot of time. So that's a good thing about it. So here now what it did is, uh, now let me show you this. Select column assignment group is the first level of pivot. Priority is the second level of pivot. So this is your assignment group, which is your first level of pivot. And then priority, critical, low, high, etc., high, moderate, etc. This is your second level of pivot, so it comes under your uh, assignment group. So here you can see Cat the Cat worked on two critical stories for the Bonsai Now team, three critical stories for the Now Gambit team, and so forth. So if this is what you are interested in, this is how you can reorient the data, pivot the data. Now let's say looking at this, you also want to know. Okay, so two critical stories, how big were they? And maybe I add a column which says size, which is uh, probably points for all of us. And I run here. Now this I feel is not readable. I mean, this is okay till two levels, it's fine. But when you add points here, it's kind of not readable. So this is where I, I suggest that you do a little bit of uh, hidden trial because you see it's very simple to do this. It's very quick. So I remove pivot. And I let's see what happens if I uh, if I add the points to the uh, rows. And so let's do that and see how it uh, how it goes. So I run it again, and now it's showing that uh, uh, you know what this does is it always gives you an option to uh, have a drop down here or collapse collapse these values on the rows, and you can just, you know collapse them all and expand them all as you like and uh, this option appears when you select two levels or two or more on the rows so here you can see that when i expand this cat the cat it shows that uh, this fellow worked on these many points of stories which were at this priority level for this team and this team so this is the kind of uh, answer that i was looking for when i was looking at that table and uh, this is what multi-level pivot does for you so you can see it's very simple and uh, you can do experimentation with the kind of views that you want and just click on run aggregation in this case this will not work if i use anything else because this is just i'm just interested in in the count but uh, you could see that if you had uh, like sales data you could see average or something else so th there are other uh, ways to aggregate this now, this is a, a report that I don't see being used very often, but is very useful, very easy to create, and then also very easy to manipulate. You know, once you get this thing in your head that a multi-level pivot is, you have a big table, and you're pivoting it, or you're rotating it, you're turning it ar around a particular parameter, and then seeing some values around that parameter. That's what it is. And you do that, you do a little bit of experimentation in, in ServiceNow with this, and uh, and then you get a result which is actually quite good now i would say that you know comparing this with excel excel actually has the pivot feature and and very powerful in some areas i would say that uh, this is better in some areas that is better but my habit used to be i would download a whole uh, service now table in excel and then run pivots on that i was just more comfortable in that as I have used this, I have found that this is actually uh, for most things that you want to do, this is actually easier because you're just doing it here. There is no export to Excel business. You can very quickly uh, add columns, remove col columns and then save it and share it. So that's one tip for you that if you are the kind of person who's uh, who's like me is just, you know, let's just export everything to Excel and then we'll run some pivots there you may want to give this a shot and i think you will be surprised at how easy it is and how intuitive it is once you start building this 
so that's all for today thank you everyone for watching and if you have any questions comments etc just please leave a comment and i'll respond to you thanks